Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Welcome to a vertical classroom where students think collaboratively with discussion and perseverance. Today on Learning in Limestone, we'll see how these students are bringing learning alive. So what is a vertical classroom and what was your inspiration to set one up for your students? So a vertical classroom is basically getting students out of their desks and working on vertical surfaces. Um, things like whiteboards, blackboards. I've seen people do it on windows with, uh, white, with whiteboard markers. Um, even on uh, chart paper hanging from the wall. Um, I think this is something that as teachers we've done for a long time. I know people in my department have had students up um, doing, taking up homework questions and things like that on the board in the past. Um, but in the last year, our department's really been influenced by the work of Peter Lillydale, who is a researcher out of Vancouver, uh, who's done a lot of work around building critical thinking classrooms. And one of the things that he really encourages is, is teachers doing um, the vertical spaces on a daily basis and incorporating it into the classes every day. So for us, our department has really been focused on getting the kids up, um, moving and thinking every period. So how do you think this is different to a traditional chapter-based course plan? Um, I think the big difference is that the students are taking some ownership over their learning. So um, traditionally, I think math classes are taught with the teacher up at the front, um, teaching and telling, and the students usually sit and take notes and do what they need to do. This way, um, we're, ten we're starting with um, problems, so we're starting with questions at the beginning of the class. Students are getting up, they're working on the questions before they're necessarily being taught how to do it, so they're learning for themselves. And then from there, we're able to take the work that they've done and um, kind of go with it and see what misconceptions they might have, what they get, what they don't get, and make decisions of our teaching based on that. So what are some of the observations that you've seen in the students' behavior and approach towards math class? I think the big difference that I see with this is the collaboration. Um, the students are talking about math, so they're not working in isolation anymore. Um, they're talking, they're helping each other out, they're even debating um, about, about the math, and I feel that that's a way of getting them to better understand what they're actually doing. So what do you think the social impact of a vertical classroom is for the students? So a lot of the work that Peter Lillydale um, has put out um, talks about like I said, building critical thinking classrooms. And we've kind of taken three things that he's done, um, or three things that he suggests and incorporated into our class on a regular basis. So one of them is starting with a problem. The second thing is randomized grouping. So every day when the students come into the class, they are, they are assigned to a different group. So sometimes we give them a card and they sit at the um, table number that the card says. We do it with popsicle sticks. We do it sometimes according to height, according to birthday. So every day they come in and they're working with a different group, um, which has been great. Uh, we have a lot of international students at our school, so um, having students be able to sit and work with different people every day has been, I think, a big benefit to, to them and their learning, um, especially um, with the language component. Um, it also takes away some of the social barriers. So we have um, students working with different people. They get comfortable working with different people, which I think is really important too for after they, they leave here. So what do you believe the benefits are of working in a group setting on whiteboards? Um, so I believe that math can often find itself getting like devolved into textbook work and worksheets. So I think when you're working with a group, it keeps it more interactive and a lot of times people don't really like math. So this allows people to talk to one another, interact, and also when you're getting into grade 11 academic, you want to, it gets a lot more complex. So being able to kind of mingle between each other and getting answers off one another really helps. So like you might remember like, oh, I forgot the negative has to apply to this as well, mm -hmm. but somebody else might catch it. So it really allows you to collaborate yeah. and stay involved. Yeah. So what change do you think the vertical classroom has brought to the overall student engagement with math? I think it's definitely helped. Everyone has to do the work because you can see what you're doing all the time. So if, no one, if, some, if a group isn't doing their work for the class, you can see it. And I think that increases accountability in the classroom. So can you explain to me how you work collaboratively with your classmates to solve math problems? Um, well, whenever we go up to the boards, we are put into table groups, mm -hmm. and then we go up as a group. And whoever's writing can't think about anything that they're writing down, mm -hmm. so the rest of the group has to tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. So that forces us to work as a team even if you don't want to. You, yeah. you have to work together because mm -hmm. you can't just write stuff out all by yourself. Yeah. 
The vertical classroom has brought about change in student engagement and attitudes towards math. By redesigning the space, subject, and the approach, learning really does come alive. Learning in Limestone is brought to you by the Limestone District School Board.